Good evening, guys. In this video, I would like to demonstrate you very simple geocoder in Python and what is the most important completely for free. So I will use the Nominantim geocoder tool, but it won't be like a typical Nominantim geocoder tool because I want you to know about additional functionality which eventually can make the address valid for you. The example which you can see here has been generated by this simple geocoder. We can see the tooltip which advises us to validate the address. When you click on the address, you've got the, the text in the pop-up. By clicking on the text, you are opening this text in Google Maps. So let's get busy with it and see how to do this simple tool like shown already. Our geocoder will be finalized by displaying the point on the map, which will be the volume map, like you see already. So this is like two step of doing this tool, where the first step is generating the coordinates based on address provided, for example, in Excel or in the string. And the second step is displaying it on the map. So let's get started then. We need the library as the very first thing. If you don't have the library installed in your machine, you need to go to the relevant folder and install the particular Python library. For example, in idle or PyCharm, there are some other YouTube videos where you can learn how to do it. From GeoPy, GeoCoders will import nominatim GeoCoding. We can save our file already because the terminator will need it for running. Okay, now the first thing is defining our user agent. The user agent is the name which Nominatim wants from us because OpenStreetMap can track what is using their service. So this is just for this purpose and having user agent empty is inappropriate. There's another thing which comes along with user agent. This is timeout. Timeout, it's good to set for higher value, about 10, in order to prevent our Python code execution from failing. When the timeout is too small, then the connection may fail, especially when this connection is bad. So having timeout set at 10, we don't need to worry about stuff like this. Now we can jump finally to the user agent. In my case, will be my nick, and for nothing is fairly enough. All right, now I think it's the time for defining some address. It can be defined by the new variable, the new variable which will be set as lock. And let's pick the address from Excel which haven't been executed previously. As you can see, the coordinates are zero and zero. So from where does the record such as this come from? Basically, the nominatim picks up all the addresses from OpenStreetMap, but as we know, OpenStreetMap is just self-contributed platform where one areas are prepared better and other areas are prepared worse. So unlike Google Maps, which includes all the addresses worldwide, I guess, OpenStreetMap doesn't. So the only addresses which are fine, they obviously are geocoded correctly, but quite a lot of them unfortunately simply don't exist in OpenStreetMap. Therefore, the error is thrown and they fall into 0.0, .0 coordinates where the WGS84 system starts. But this simple geocoder is aimed at preventing us from issue such as this. And I will show you right now how to do it. So let's pick up the address, for example, here. Let's copy our address and paste it within the quotes, our log value. Another thing which must be done is another variable which must go through, and this is variable which will be responsible for geocoding our address. Now we have geocoding, so what we can do next, we need to make some execution. For this purpose, we will use print for printing location address and another print for printing coordinates. All right, so looks like the first step has been done. Let's run the console. Something is uh, wrong. Obviously, I have forgotten the bracket. 
And this is the error which unfortunately comes out in the case as explained previously. Non-type object has no attribute address. So basically the address doesn't exist for this particular location. But we can make some workaround with respect of it. Namely, we can take a look at our string again and watch out the section which will come out anyway. And this section is definitely the postcode which falls in the last eight characters here one two three four five six seven eight all right so we can basically extract this postcode to the separate string and pick up this string as the geolocator so for this purpose we will use the completely new variable which will pin down this string for us so let's call it log data and the function which will be applied here is new str and it picks up data from the string with address. And in the curly bracket, we are defining last characters will be cut down. Now in location, geocoder instead of log, we just need to provide log data. Hit save, hit run. And as you can see, the address has came out. That's the trick which we can do with nominating geocoding in the situation when our address doesn't exist. I think it's a nice workaround which can be applied for the geocoding purposes. Now let's show our result on the map. For this purpose, let's import volume library. And as the second part of our exercise, let's use something like this. Location map, volume map, where as the location we will pick up location of our geocoded address. Make it accordingly quite high zoom level. And this is just the map. Now we need to define the marker. The volume marker where location will be exactly the same as in the case of the map. So it means that our map will be centered exactly above the marker. And add it to location map. All right, now we need to save our map. We'll save it as the HTML file. And preferably what we could do, we could import another library, which will open our map. The library is called web browser. And what we need to add is just one line. Web browser, open, sgeocoder, HTML. Let's save it and run. Wait a moment. Right, so we've got the mistake. Obviously, it's not dash, it's dot there. Save and repeat. And there you go. Now, as you can see, our map has been opened exactly in the defined location and it's centered right above the marker. But the marker shows nothing already and we are also not sure about the address itself because, as I told you, Recently, we've just provided the postcode, but the postcode may cover larger area than just pointed out by the marker. So another part of our task will be validation of our location. But before I do it, let me play with the marker a bit. Let's expand the code, or preferably I could provide some tooltip informing that the address requires validation. Hit say forgotten about the comma. Hit save, hit run, wait a while, the tooltip appeared. Go back to our code, except of tooltip. Let's change the icon. Making it more noticeable, the icon which should draw attention that the thing is not perfect as we could think. In the meantime, you will see that by print option, the address keep appearing in our terminator, so it's fine. And I think now is the time for presentation, the most important thing in this tool, namely the redirection to Google Maps. So once I back to my code, I will prepare the pop-up. Pop-up which will include exactly the stuff which is needed for opening Google Maps address. Let's see pretty much how it works. Before I start to generating the code, I need to give you some explanation how it works. If you, for example, copy this string and open up apps google.com maps after space when you paste, 
you should receive the address. You must be quick because Google Maps keeps loading and it changes its permalink when loading. Therefore, this operation must be really quick. It's doable by code very quickly, so you don't need to worry about it. But if you do it manually, you must do it literally in a jiffy. Otherwise, you will get 404 error. Something like this. It opens exactly in the location like you see here. And then the permalink has changed, as you can see. So I hope that you understood what I meant. Let's back to our code right now and trigger the same option in our pop-up. But maybe before I do it, let me use the pop-up itself. For example, I provide just location address to a pop-up and hit run. I should see the location address generated by Nominantim Geocoder. That's obviously fine. Now I think we need to expand our pop-up by adding the link. Link tag in HTML is a href and provide the address. Google com maps search and now we will concatenate but we cannot concatenate with our location address because our location address like you see is being thrown from the geocoder we must concatenate it with location given from our string because this is exactly the address which we are after we are not looking for the address generated by nominantim. We are looking for the address which is exactly here. That's why we will concatenate it with this value, lock. Okay, now in order to close down the link, we will use quotes and preferably we will open it in the new window. Right, after closing down the whole link, we will next concatenate it with the address which appeared in our pop-up, like you saw previously. Next, we need to close everything down, the a tag HTML, and provide the comma at the very end. And I think it should be fine right now. So let's click run and see what will happen. We definitely have the link under our address generated by Nominantim Geocoder. Once clicked on the address, we have it opened in Google Maps, all right? So our final approach is to validate this address against the Nominantim geocoder. In this case, fortunately, the address is correct. Like you see, it looks like the postcode has been assigned just for this particular building. So we are fine. All right, now you will know how to combat, I guess, typical problem with Nominatim geocoder in Python, which keeps throwing null addresses or is unable to assign an address because this address simply doesn't appear in OpenStreetMap but appears in Google Maps. So I hope that this workaround will be fine for you. And I also hope that you've learned something new from this video. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.